Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So if you're new here, welcome, my name is Shannon and over on this channel we do lots of travelling, lots of Disney, lots of lifestyle kind of vlogs, so if that's your sort of thing then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today we are in the gorgeous Cape Town. I have stepped foot in the continent of Africa. Bucket list, tick, I'm so excited to be here. Yesterday we had the entire evening to ourselves and we went out to this beautiful restaurant, I think it was called Hazar's? Stunning, absolutely stunning. Had such a beautiful steak. I tried some wine. I'm not even a wine drinker. It was beautiful. However, today we have a huge day planned and I'm taking you every single step of the way with me. I have booked a Flavours of Cape Town tour with Conquer Cape Town and it includes a cable car to Table Mountain. It includes the penguin colony. Penguins are like my favourite animals, so those of you that know me know how exciting this is for me. It includes the seal beach, it includes one of the vineyards, lots of little photo stops, lunch, and I'm so bloody excited. There's me and maybe four other girls from crew that are all going down to do it. I am absolutely in a rush, if you can't already tell, because of how jittery I am, if that's the word, I don't know. Pickups at 7.45 and it's half seven, so we need to go. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a little bit of a cold. Not doing great, I can't lie, my ears popped hugely on the flight over here. But I don't care, because we're in Cape Town for the first time. We're going to have an amazing day, and you're going to come along with me. Tomorrow I've got something really, really, really excited planned. So that will be coming up towards the end of this video. But I am literally going to take you every single step of the way with me today. And it's going to be an amazing day. So, let's go! First stop is Seal Island. So cute, I love them. We just got off the boat, but we're going to look at this seal. The girls have spotted a sunbathing seal. Catching some rays. <laughs> Bye, little dude. Big dude, should I say? Not a little dude. Am I right in saying that's where we just was? Yeah. That's Seal Island over there. And this is Chapman's Peak. So we've just been up to Chapman's Peak. Had a little stop and a bite to eat there. Oh God, sorry, it's gone really dark. It was really nice up there. There's a cute little viewing point up in Chapman's Peak, wasn't it? Yeah. Stunning, stunning views. And now, for the main event of the day, we're heading down to the Penguin Colony. So excited! <laughs> Hey little guy!
<laughs> We've just been to the penguin colony and now we're going down to Boulder's Beach where you can actually get on the beach with the penguins. On our tour down to the penguins we found a rogue um I think she called it like a gussy. A gussy? Something like that. Okay. He looks terrified though, so maybe we should leave him alone. Bye. See you later. You know in Harry Potter when they petrify the animals? That's what it looked like right then. Is it cold? It's really cold. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Where actually are the penguins? We're just now chilling on a beach with cold feet. We've climbed right through the rocks <laughs> to find this little guy. <laughs> Hi! What have you named him? Butt what? Butt sniffer. Butt sniffer? Okay, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Buster! Short for butt sniffer, yeah, I like it. He definitely heard you, he ain't impressed yeah. with that. I love it down here. I wish there were more penguins down here, but it's so cute. It's like a real hot area as well. Like the wind is not actually awful down here. As I said that, the wind started. <laughs> but it's a real sunspot, it's so hot down here. Decided Cape Town is my new favourite place and it's only 12 o'clock so we've got so much left of the day and I'm obsessed already. We just had a stop for lunch at a place called Cattle Baron. It was alright I guess, wouldn't highly recommend it, just my personal opinion but it was nice, it was a nice little stop. And the next thing on the list is wine tasting at Steenberg. I think that's how you pronounce it. We're literally going in now. Anna's very excited for wine tasting. Anna loves wine. Fancy. Enjoy the wine. Thank you so much. Cheers, girlies. Cheers. tasting. Whoa. Whoa. How is it? It's nice, I like the aftertaste of it. Mm -hmm. It's nice, it's not what I expected. It's <laughs> well different to that one we had yesterday. So this is Sauvignon Blanc. So Constantia is big on Sauvignon Blanc. It's closer to the um, proximity to the ocean and to the elevation. The white grapes and the red grapes, if you squeeze them, the juice is the same. So you can make oh. white wine from red wine. Oh. However, when I'm making white wine, I, I crush the grapes and I throw away the skins. I only deal with, with the juice. But for red wine, I crush, I crush the grapes. I take the mixture of the skins and the juice for fermentation. They remain together sometimes for up to 30 days. The longer they are together, the more color you extract. However, when you're making rosé, you do limited skin content. Think from two hours to two days. So this is 100% Shiraz, the grape is Shiraz. Clean, crisp, a lot of red fruit. Very refreshing. Which one do you want to try first? This Sam. This Sam. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. I love a Sam anyway. Mm. Well, I'm not a, a fan of that one. The rosé. Oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> Chardonnay's the winner. The wine number one that I've put for you, it's a 100% Melo. Mm -hmm. uh, Melo is a red red. Uh, originates in uh, original France called Bordeaux. Really? This is Merlot, yeah? Mm. Absolutely not. Ugh. What's the second one? The second one he said was Merlot and Cab Sav. And Malbec, okay. I actually can't bear it. Wine is not my thing, obviously. That's our wine tasting complete. Um, what did you call it, Tan? Not wine tasting, wine. It's, it's wine wasting. <laughs> <laughs> wine wasting. Yeah, I don't think um, wine's my thing. I thought this trip was going to be the uh, the game changer for wine with me, but. Uh, no, I still very much dislike wine, but we've all said that we'd like to come back and do a proper vineyard tour to, to like to work out which ones we really like. But anyway, next stop, which I believe is the last stop of this tour, is Table Mountain, and I'm so excited! We're just about to get the cable car, which is over here, but look at this view.
Wow. Okay, there's been a slight change of plan. This is Tabletop Mountain where we're supposed to be right now, but we're not. I'll talk to you more about it in a minute, but instead we're at the top of Signal Hill and this is the view. So this ramp is actually to do with something I'm doing tomorrow. Can you see it? Tomorrow morning I'm going paragliding and this is one of the starting points. There's two options. So I could be running off this really early in the morning tomorrow, which is terrifying. It's so exciting. As you can tell, it's very, very windy, which is the reason we're not at Table Mountain right now because they took everyone down because of the risk of high winds. So we're not there, unfortunately. However, the tour that we've got are keeping our tickets available so we can make our way here tomorrow and do it tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'll be back here, most likely, doing paragliding in the morning, and then we're gonna go over to Table Mountain and eventually, finally, go up Table Mountain. Not the perfect way to end today, because this is not the way we were supposed to end today, but we're technically ending the tour tomorrow instead. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> I'm windswept to hell right now. As you can see, I'm back in my hotel room. So sadly, we didn't get to end our day at Table Mountain. But the good thing is, is that we are able to use the tickets we have for Table Mountain as part of our tour tomorrow. But before that, I'm actually going to do something really, really, really exciting. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I am going paragliding. I was so excited. I've done it before when I went to Turkey and I absolutely loved it. So I said to myself, if I ever get the opportunity to do it again, then I will. And when I knew that it was a thing here in Cape Town, I was like, I have to do it. So that's happening tomorrow. So that's two plans I've got for tomorrow. And today is not actually over because we're actually gonna go and visit one of the best restaurants in Cape Town, which is called Gold. And it's a real African themed restaurant, African food, lots of culture, African puppetry, African dancing, music right up my street i'm so excited to go we're doing that tonight i've still got so much more planned for this trip and because i've already done so much i'm actually going to end the vlog here as a part one and then the rest of it those three things i just mentioned so the meal paragliding and table mountain will all be in part two of this vlog we've had such an amazing day today it's been brilliant denzel i think it's denzel or denzel i'm not too sure how he pronounces his name but either way, he was our tour guide today and he was an absolute gent. He was beautiful. It was so lovely to have him all day with us. But to be fair, all the guys at Conquer Cape Town, which is the website that we got the tour from, are beautiful. They've been very, very helpful. And yeah, all in all, we just had a really great day. Seeing the penguins was such a highlight. Some of the views we saw literally from first thing this morning were beautiful. So yeah. I've already done so much in Cape Town and it's already one of my favourite places to be. I love it here. So, I hope you guys have liked part one of my time in Cape Town. I have had such a blast already. It's been insane. I've loved every single minute of it. Can't wait to continue the trip. But anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed part one and I will see you soon in part two. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye!